Hey guys, just doing another test video here on our test hood. Uh, finally got it all cleaned up from the tape residue that was left all over it. So after six months roughly of tape, <laughs> it was uh, caked on there pretty good. So got that all off there. What I did was uh, um, wash it off many times with a combination of purple power and super clean and simple green and anything I had that was I could take tape off, did that over and over until I finally got most of the residue off. Then it was, uh, there was swirls like crazy because when I'd wash it, I, I would just grab a sponge and some soap and go to town. I wouldn't care because <laughs> whatever. Um, but now I used, um, um, what did I use? Meguiar's 105 cutting compound, ultra cut compound. If you want to get technical, it's right over there to the right. Um, I use that on a Griot's cutting pad, and then I use my Porter Cable 7424, uh, the original, not even the XP. Uh, and we got some pretty good results, as you can see from the uh, from the lights, not perfection, but we're good enough. Um, I also clayed it before I did that. Um, so this panel has been washed a boat, boatload of times. Uh, it has been clayed, it has been compounded, so now we're ready. Oh, and then I uh, I put purple power on it again, rinse that off. So we are a 100% clean, nothing left behind, no water uh, beading or sheeting of any kind. It's just a blah panel. So what we're going to do now that I have the whole lineup here is we are going to, I've got five sections taped off. This is the compound to the left, the wash, the wet wax. So like what wax as you dry the ceramic coating in all of its glory and then the last one is the three-in-one detailer which by reading that it kind of sounds more like a um uh a waterless wash by reading it um which is interesting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off we're gonna uh polish the whole hood okay and then this will only have polish on it this section then we're going to car wash these remaining panels. So the four will have car wash and compound. This one will have the wax as you dry, the wet wax, um, as will these two. And then once everything's dry, I'm going to hit the remaining two with the spray, ceramic spray. And then finally the ceramic detailer. So to recap, everything is getting compounded. These four are getting washed. These three are getting waxed as you dried. This one and this one are getting waxed. And then the final one will be getting the detailer. Also, probably on the back side of it, I haven't decided yet. Probably on the back side of it, I'm just going to do each one as, it, as we go. Um, so these will be layered. And these will not, will not be the back row. It's just standalone. If you buy this product off the shelf, throw it on there. On a prep panel how long will it last uh, might be kind of hard to do that with the the wet wax the wax as you dry because you can't really just spray it on there so what I think I'm gonna do is just use the hose um, since the panels clean anyway I'm not gonna use any soap so I'll just get that part wet and then do the wax as you dry uh, that's the thinking for right now I might include uh, uh, seal and shine on this as well uh, possibly like right here or something and then I I don't know if you can see it very well but I triple layered in between so we'd have a nice I'm gonna take this layer will be off so we will have a nice um, uh, base to compare it to where there's no product whatsoever um, so yeah that is the plan. So I'll get to work on this and then I will uh, show you when we're done. All right, sorry, one quick note. Um, so I went to move this stuff off here. I forgot to mention the purpose, I don't wanna say the purpose, I would do wanna see all, all five of these like lined up as you would if you just invested the whole line, this is all you wanted to do. That's a very interesting concept, but I just wanted to show you guys something. So the the spray wax, We'll just put that up against, up behind the wax as you dry, and then we'll put the detailer behind that. So, I mean, look at that. Look at how much more 
you get of the detailer than the spray wax. So I just wanted to make that quick point. I didn't realize it would be that drastic of a difference, but it obviously is. Uh, spray wax is 16 ounces. The wax as you dry is 26, so you get 10 extra ounces, close to double. And then this guy is 32, so is double. So the other question becomes, will the detailer last twice as long as the coat as the coat yeah the coating can you use this as the coating because you get twice as much and i think i don't know the price points on these these are all around 15 bucks i'm gonna give or take two to three bucks um but twice as much and i i want to say this is a dollar or two less than this one i think this is around 16 or 17 dollars at walmart and this one is around 13 or 14 maybe 15 i'm almost positive it's cheaper. So it will be interesting to see if it can outlast, or maybe not outlast, but last almost as long as the spray coating. So we will, that's another question we will answer. All right, here we go. We're gonna go, uh, gonna get everything on and go from there. All right, guys, so here we are, we are back. So this panel, the far right panel, is the polish only, then we have the wash, plus polish, then the drying aid, plus the wash, plus the polish, then the wax, plus the drying aid, plus the wash, plus the polish, then finally the detail spray, plus the wax, drying aid, wash, and polish. Uh, the hood, as itself, it came out pretty good. Um, it looks so much better than it did with the tape lines and whatnot through it. Um, so here we go. Uh, full disclosure here, uh, when I was using the drying aid and the wash, some of it possibly um, got over and contaminated other areas. Super hard to keep that separate with the whole panel wet, but I did my best, so I don't know. I guess we will see what happens. Hopefully I didn't screw it up too bad. Uh, down here, where you can see the date, which is uh, March 7th, this will be our control. And then we will also see lines showing up in between here. Oh, I already got a bead. Uh, line showing up in between where there is no product. I accidentally peeled the tape off before I went and got my shine and seal, so it unfortunately will not be part of this test. So here we go, let's see what happens. Oh, hope if I turn the water on. There we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, you can see where the control is. Let's try, uh, let's try flat. Definite beating everywhere oh yeah just comes right off it's looking good everywhere yeah the control down there is kind of yeah and more so where we washed or the wash was that's no surprise it went downhill um, but you can clearly see Hopefully you can see it in the video, where the tape was. Now yeah, look at that. Try, uh, we'll try full, or jet, let's try jet. It's definitely, that's really interesting. So on Jet, the wax and the detailer are doing great. And then the drying aid's doing good too, but then look at that. Look at on the compound, how much bigger the, uh, the beads are. You guys see that? That's interesting. All right, well, we'll see what happens as, uh, as we go on, but the hood's gonna be here. And uh, yeah, I'll try to update this. I'll try to do better than our last wax test. I'll, I'll try for once a week. So we'll see what happens. Thanks, guys.